Hello my dear family members, if you are preparing for Infosys system engineer role and if you want to get the resources for English and pseudo code then this video is for you. Now let me discuss about the recent questions just before that guys make sure that you have subscribed this channel and watching the playlist of Infosys and other companies as well. Hey you ready for the future attack? No UF is here with premium prep materials no need to fear. Cognizant Accenture TC and more we'll get you ready open up that door now let me discuss about the questions so just before that let me tell you one important thing that is if you are preparing for english ability then prepare for parasumble spotting error then sentence correction sentence arrangement and article prepositions then tense and reading comprehension synonym antonym these are the hot topic for english ability in system engineer role okay so please prepare for that it will reduce your preparation time so i hope you will keep importance now let me discuss the question so at first you can see she don't go to college every day she doesn't goes to college every day she doesn't go to college every day so what are the what is the best option to choose among these what is the correct sentence now let me discuss the first question she don't go to college whenever we are using uh, a habitual faction this is a habitual faction right he or she goes college every day okay or doesn't college every day so this is a habit if this is regarding habit then it is present indefinite tense and in present indefinite tense the subject if it is third person singular number he see these are the third person singular number if it is third person singular number then we should use s or yes after the verb okay and here after don't we have to use s or yes if we are using s or yes in one verb then we should not use s or yes in another verb okay so she doesn't go to college every day this should be the correct option okay she doesn't go to college every day here you can see doesn't already present and s or yes added but here we should not use s or yes so this is eliminated in this option you can see she doesn't go to college every day this is the best option we can see here why it is not right because she didn't went already this is in past so this should not be passed right so i hope you understood now let me go to the next question that is regarding also uh, english ability so he does his homework before going out as we have already discussed if it is in present indefinite tense and if this is past i mean if it is third person singular number then we should use yes or yes after the verb she finishes his homework before going out so this should be the correct option is he or she or ram if we are using third person singular number we should use s or yes after the verb okay he finishes his homework before going out okay now let me go to the next question that is this what will be the output of the following pseudocode i hope this is visible to you so please pause the video and try to give the answer at first initializing the sum is equal to zero then we are running a for loop for i is equal to one to five then we are adding the sum is equal to sum plus i then we are printing the sum so what should be the output okay so at first you can see the ith value is sorry sum is zero then in the each iteration ith value will be increasing and sum will also be increased how let me just check that so sum will be in the first iteration i is one okay so sum will be one in the next iteration sum will be one plus two plus three plus four plus 5 right so 5 plus 5 plus 4 is 9 plus 3 12 plus 2 14 plus 1 15 so among these 15 will be the correct option i hope you understood now let me go to the next question so the next question is shown to your screen this is from a pseudo code again so please pause up video and give the answer which one of the following will be the output of this pseudo code so please don't go with this question just here from me that is what is the output of this pseudo code int a is equal to 5 int b is equal to 4 inside a single quote then print a plus b what is the output before i discuss this question i want you to have the best prime materials available at top main tutorial slash technology where you will get all the recent questions with answers all the previous questions all the recent questions 
system engineer verbal ability english ability english comprehension pseudo code and quants logical interview preparations mock test everything you need to prepare for in process all are available at top main tata slash technology you have please go through that it will be very much helpful if you are preparing for sp role as well the materials are available inside the same material so please have that you will get instant access unlimited access and the material will keep updating so please have that the link will be provided in the description box or in the comment section please go through that i hope you will go through that you can see the feedback at below so you can see those and go through that okay so now let me discuss the question you can see int a is equal to 5 into b is equal to 4 now two things can be happened let's say at first int a is equal to 5 and int b is equal to 4 so what value is storing inside this it is int and we are storing a character so what should be stored inside the b variable that is the ascii value whenever we are rising, uh, writing int and we are uh, initializing a character in that case it will uh, change it will transfer to ascii value okay what is the ascii value for for if the ascii value for 1 is equal to 48 0 is equal to 48 then 149 2 is equal to 50 3 is equal to 51 4 is equal to 52 so for 4 52 is the ascii value now what value will be stored here that is 52 int b is equal to 52 then if we are printing this value print a plus b then the value should be a is 5 b is 52 then 57 should be the output but in this case in this case this is a python code this is a python code let's say this if this is a python code then it will print an error okay it will print an error so in python actually string and uh, string and uh, integer cannot be concatenated so this is the thing you have to understand so that's why it will produce an error so error should be the output okay now let me go to the next question that is this choose the correct sentence he go to market every day he goes to market every day he gone to market every day he going to market every day what is the correct answer of this i have already discussed the same questions earlier and you can expect one to two questions in your exam as well this type of questions okay i hope you will give me thank after that so please pause the video and give the answer this will be a quiz question for you i will not give the answer okay and if you are giving the right answer then i'll give i'll show your name in the next video the next question is this c dash her homework before dinner i have already answered this identify the error in the sentence each of the student have completed their assignments on time each what is the error in each or of the student or have completed or their assignment on the time what is the error what is the error in the sentence the main problem is relying on have completed why because whenever we are using each each let's say there are multiple students present i'm telling each 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 means i'm referring every one at a time but pointing to one person each of the student have completed it is wrong as i am pointing to one person so that's why has completed should be the correct answer each of the student has completed their assignments on time so the correct option is this have completed now the next question is shown to your screen choose the correct sentence from the following c okay so i have already answered for this so please go to the next question if he dash harder he will pass the exam again the same type of questions coming repeating so this type of questions you can expect okay he if he studies harder he will pass the exam i will not discuss more if he studies harder if he studies harder then he will pass the exam if he studied harder he will pass the exam so if we are using studied harder then we are talking about the past but it is talking about the future okay so at least uh, studies should be the correct option the next question is the next question is this spot the error neither of the boys have completed their project neither either and each so this type of questions will be asked mandatorily so please pause neither of the boys have completed their project neither so here also i am pointing to one person okay neither of the boys have completed neither of the boys 
has completed okay neither of the boys whenever people see boys whenever people see boys people say uh, people start assuming that okay so this is plural so boys have completed this is the best option have completed it is fine so neither will be the best option now you have to understand neither of the boys neither pointing to let's say these are the students neither i'm pointing to one neither no one no one of the boys have completed has completed this should be the correct okay so this is the correct option now the next question is this print the output sum is equal to zero for i is equal to two to six sum is equal to this print sum again the same type of questions what will be the output let me discuss that so for i is equal to two to six that means sum will be at first two then plus three then plus four then plus five then plus six so what is the output six plus five eleven plus four five fifteen uh, fifteen eighteen twenty so correct option will be twenty i hope you understood now six is actually including okay not excluding this is what you have to understand now the next question and the last question of today's session that is which of the following will produce an error in text is equal to 10 float y is equal to 5.5 print x plus y uh okay sorry the question should be what's the output of the following pseudocode what's the output of the following pseudocode what's the output please give the answer in the comment section this will be a quiz question for you again please give the answer so i hope this much of discussion is enough for today's session guys please go through the recent questions and previous questions most of the questions will be common in your case because infosys itself uh, conducting the exam and they were conducting the exam earlier as well so if you are following their questions earlier questions and recent questions then you probably will get recent, uh, repeated questions so please go through the materials available at top this price will be increased so please go through that before that okay so thank you for today's session guys Please subscribe to Techno UF and don't forget to like and share with your friends.